Hello Sky 2015, my name is Brian Kenya and I'll be talking to you today about echocardiographic and clinical outcomes in patients undergoing transcatheter aortic valve replacement with concaminate mitral regurgitation. A sizable portion of patients who have severe AS also have concaminate MR and understanding the implications of performing a TAVR on this population and its effects on echocardiographic outcomes are important. A cohort of 164 patients with baseline echoes underwent a TAVR at Emory University. They were then followed for a combination of clinical outcomes and echocardiographic outcomes at one year. The MR was classified as minimal or significant and further classified as functional or organic. At baseline, patients with significant MR were more likely to be older, have larger left ventricular end systolic and diastolic diameters, have larger pulmonary artery systolic pressures, and have lower stroke volume indices than patients with minimal MR. A summary of TAVR procedural results were comparable to results at other institutions. At one year, statistically significant changes were observed in both the mild and significant MR groups. In the group with significant MR, 57% of patients improved in MR severity by one or more grades. 24% of patients with minimal MR, on the other hand, worsened by one or more severity grades. Univary analysis of one-year echo parameters showed that the group with statistically significant baseline MR improved significantly in left ventricular ejection fraction and left ventricular end systolic diameter. When comparing the change from baseline between the two cohorts, a statistically significant change was observed in left ventricular end systolic diameter as well as pulmonary artery systolic pressures. A multivariate analysis of predictors of decreased MR at one year showed no statistically significant predictors other than having significant MR at baseline. Clinical outcomes at a mean follow-up of 925 days showed no differences between the significant and minimal MR groups. However, there was a trend towards more cardiac events in patients with organic MR compared to those with functional MR. In summary, patients with significant MR at baseline had improvements in ejection fraction, a decrease in left ventricular and systolic diameter, and a trend towards lower pulmonary artery systolic pressures. A multivariate analysis showed no independent predictors of improvement in MR other than baseline MR. And clinical outcomes were comparable in patients with minimal versus significant MR. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation today, and I hope you enjoy the conference.